watching Fox News, and this is uh, Tuesday afternoon, and they have a gentleman up there, uh, they're interviewing, and um, he's talking, they're talking about the FBI and the San Bernardino uh, shootings, and uh, what was it, an 18-minute t- uh, on the phone they want to get to. Uh, I don't know what else I can say. I listen to local TV here in Roanoke, and they've known all this. I've told them, I, D.C., you name it, Huntsville, Alabama, Atlanta, Georgia, years and years ago, but let's update it now. They know all this. They will not print it. Your media won't. Uh, and then I'm going to tell you something in just a second. But I'm watching this, and I've told you, like when somebody uh, shoots somebody, like the Uber, uh, Uber driver, he doesn't even know what he's done or why he did it. So the motive, I'll tell you what the motive is, is where he did the shootings, the three places he did the shootings. I mean, they have laid it out there, the agency doing it, so you can't hate them. You can hate the media. You can hate the people who have been told who didn't question anything. In fact, they hated my guts, and I've lived in hell for so long. In fact, I wrote a book, in case you just picked this up, the video up, about mind control. It was almost killed. And, hey, you can't just do all these are coincidences. Like, one of the people in the book was U.S. Congressman Larry MacDonald. Um, he was a doctor at Piedmont, a urologist, and then he went on, and the plane he was on went down August 31st of 83. The KAL shot down by the Soviets when it veered into the airspace. That's exactly what mind control can do. You can program the pilot. You can put... Uh, you can put a marshal, air marshal up there. You can program him. He's supposed to protect you. He'll come out shooting. You can have your house, it's been this way for a long time, wired to the hill to where you think you're safe. If you're programmed, they can just tell you to come and open your or unlock your door or rewire it. So you can forget any privacy. You're living in a make-believe world yourself because... When people tried to tell you about it, you called them crazy, you called them names, you made them go to Russia like Edward Snowden so he'd have a place to go when he tried to tell you all. You didn't call the people heroes, you called them crazy, you called them every name in the book. But the uh, San Bernardino is the same uh, programming went on there. You can program one or two or... Uh, James Holmes to shoot or Aurora, Colorado shooting with um, um, what was uh, well Mark Kelly. I remember that because <laughs> Martin Scott, the name, the astronaut, his wife, uh, Debbie Gifford. Those were program shootings. Uh, okay, so you can if you can do that, you can control a whole army, and they have been able to for a long time. So the whole bit, I'm not, uh, this man that's up there now talking on Fox, yeah, okay, excuse me here, it just, it, it's, I'm living a horrible life. I'm allergic to chemicals. They have run me and made me look goofy. If you don't care to watch all my YouTubes and, and really look into it, um, I mean, I come across if this is what you pick up and you don't want to see it anymore. First of all, people don't like what I'm saying about the government doing to them or is going on. It's really their fault. It was up to them. I've seen the blacks march and take on and shut down businesses and towns, and nobody could get in on this and, and make the truth be told. In fact, they tried to shut me up. San Bernardino is the same thing. They were programmed, and the bit about getting into this phone and asking Apple, well, maybe a little bit more to that, but I'm going to try to explain that now, uh, to let them uh, unlock, create a system to bypass the password and all this, it's more of the same thing I've told you about. Now, they've done, there is 
and I'm not going to go any further because they're not totally the bad guys. You may think they are. Uh, it's almost like, um, what was that movie with Robert Redford, 12 Days of the Condor? And that's all I'm going to say. If you want to watch it in demise, because there's a group within a group that's trying to do something. So, so anyway, you say, so they're doing all this? Well, look. <laughs> um, anyway, I've been telling for a long time, the security on the airplanes is taking them down. When did this all start going on so much, taking down an airplane, shooting in the school, shooting in... And the murders that have been committed, it's the perfect weapon. Because you, if you knew anything about being programmed and you tried to tell it, well, you go to a doctor, who you going to go to? You go to a doctor, he's going to lock you up and give you psychotic drugs. And, they, and believe me, they do know the difference. In mental illness, it's being used, and it's so sad because mind control has nothing to do with mental illness. But back to taking down the planes. You take down the planes, they did, and here comes all the security. You can't get on a plane, your luggage, you're being stripped down, uh, all right? That's exactly where it's going. Everybody's controlled. Uh, you can't go anywhere. The New World Order is already in place. The Rothschilds, Bilderbergers, the Kennedys, and uh, oh, this is a good one that you don't even hear anybody mention. Hillary Clinton and uh, Bill. Of course, you go back, all of them, the president except Jimmy Carter, were of the Illuminati or Freemason. It's the one, the trilateral, they're all the same, the Rockefellers. Now then, you can take this into any part uh, and start taking down your government. If the FBI forces Apple to do this, well, well that, this man, in fact, sound garble, He's gone now, and I'm still on here. I still got Fox on. But he's telling you that they've had the FBI in the past, that they've got groups within the government, the agencies, that can go in and do this, the back door. So why are they doing this? Well, I've told you, and you may think I don't know what I'm talking about. Yes, I do. And so I'm going to tell this one. They, I was kidnapped and brought here when uh, I was two years old. This was a go up, and I put all this up, and I'm not going to lay out pictures right now. Mind control, I mean, that's the ultimate weapon, really, and you wonder who's got it in the end of it all. But um, <laughs> I'm tired of it. And I was kidnapped and brought over here and found out about who my dad is and my mom and the frame job they did on them and kidnapping me. And the Illuminati, the New World Government's already in order. It has been. And your UN is another hand of the uh, New World Order. They actually, the corporations are controlled by the Jewish. Uh, and you've got the Kennedys and all of them. And you've got, they control, well, the, uh, my Uncle George the Sixth, who's illegal in Elizabeth. Or high, were high standing, she still is members of the people that kidnapped me. In fact, they have kidnapped me, uh, George the Sixth, and she's illegal, Elizabeth is. And Hillary is a member of the global government, and nobody asked her about this. Now, I got off a little bit on what I started to say, but the weapon, I can't quite understand the, the bit other than it, they're showing that they're committing crimes and making you want the FBI or an agency to get it and call it security to protect you. Everybody's wanting you to be protected when really you're walking right into it. So I shouldn't even care anymore. I have had my own family destroyed. I've lived a life just because I'm standing a horrible life. And people didn't like what I said. Part of it is because I'm British. My mom, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, uh, Windsor was American. She's sister to artist Georgia O'Keefe. O'Keefe. I would imagine that the O'Keefe's have gone through hell because I see some of the murders that happened to them. Uh, so I'm going to let go of that. But that's the 18-minute gap in the Watergate tapes. Uh, yeah, I worked for the district attorney in 80, Fred Simpson, Madison County District Attorney, Huntsville, NASA, Alabama, all that. And uh, they role-played the Watergate tapes. And that's where 
I've already put this up where um, 